Hi, I'm Weishi and this is my husband Eric and my son Elliot. Um, Elliot is now about two and a half years old and he's born with vision loss. Hi, I'm Tiru and uh, this is my mom, Madam Rosalyn. She has total visual impairment and I'm her main caregiver for all of my life. Honestly, it has been very exhausting, but at the same time, very fulfilling too. I'm the only child and I've got my two kids and my helper as well. There are moments where she gets depressed and all, but we do manage with all the Bible verses. Uh, she can't read a Bible, so we play the audio verses and then she is able to listen and feel uplifted spiritually. It's really tough for us in the beginning, especially in Singapore, there's really very few resources for people with visual impairment. There have been many overwhelming moments, especially this pandemic. It's overwhelming for me because I have to juggle my work as well as my kids and my mom as well. Um, many, many times she has been depressed at times as well. Um, but we have managed to come out of this as well. Um, but I have to mention some more burnout times, I would say, it's especially at the beginning where we first received his diagnosis felt really helpless with like a um, few resources that we can find online. It was really very difficult to imagine him doing whatever he's doing today because back then he was not even sitting, not even lifting his neck for example. He was really um, just mostly lying on the bed and then it was difficult to interact with him or engage him with anything. So GDS is one of the first few organizations that we approached and supported us in our journey uh, you know, to understand uh, Elliot better. Um, the advice that we first received was rather useful. Um, they gave us some, for some tips how we can interact with a blind baby. And I think from there we continued our own exploration and got better. My mom has never owned a cane before in her life and she's been over-dependent on holding us, um, gripping the arm and sometimes it can be very tight. So now after Simon has done the training, um, the grip has lightened and uh, less painful and she's been using uh, the cane uh, effectively. Don't be afraid to ask for help when you need it. External support uh, would also help. They may know things that you don't know. Uh, they may be able to provide uh, support and knowledge in other ways. In a world of darkness, they see light through us they see things through our eyes and um, I think it's very important that we support them in every little aspect that we can. And as for caregivers, it has never been easy, but I think that there is support. We are not alone in this and uh, organisations like GDS is there to support for us.